People tend to complain about pretty much everything, but who can complain when something is awesome and cheap? This comes in at $45 and it's a ready to fly airplane. And believe it or not, we have a functional control surface with a real servo there. That's for the elevator. The downside probably to this is, and this will be a turn off, but who knows how it'll actually perform. That's fake. That's just there like a, like a pinwheel for a kid. I didn't even see that. That doesn't work. <laughs> who but, didn't see that? Cause I didn't see that. <laughs> we have two motors oh, man. and that's going to be our actual throttle. Now look, I've seen jets have propellers on the tail of them and when they're in the air you just can't see that so i don't think we're going to be able to see those spinning when it's actually in the air and in today's video we're going to fly this and test it out and see if it's garbage or great you just never know until you put it in the air so if it is awesome under 50 bucks for a ready to fly airplane is pretty outstanding it even comes with two batteries and a usb charger so it's a great setup it's very, very durable foam. This is that bendy stuff that just can't break hardly. And uh, it's gonna be just a good beginner type of setup, mainly because of the price. Without further ado, let's put it in the air and see how it does. We've even got an on off switch and a ball link here on the back, which is really nice. If they can do an on off switch on a $45 airplane, why can't our $600 planes have an on off switch? <laughs> a bend it. It just kited up. <laughs> it is a lot windier than what we thought it was oh, going to be. It was not, and then my, my front and prop is not spinning at all, so that's definitely helping my aerodynamics. <laughs> uh, it's it's like rubbing a little bit, so that's that's why it's not spinning. If it spun, I think it would actually help. Not the quietest airplane we've ever had. I can't even hear it. It looks stupid with the prop not spinning. It really does. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to spin. You know what it looks like? It just looks like a chuck glider. That it does say spin. glider on the wing, it just so you it know. It's like a glider converted <laughs> into a little RC, which people do. People do that all the time. Got a buddy Chad that likes to do that stuff. Hey, oh, that is just getting out of control. The wind is, the wind is nasty. I'm, I'm definitely, we're eight mile an hour solid. I mean, 12 to What was it supposed to be? Three miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, that big stuff. No, I mean, I'm not even full throttle. Let's do, I'm half throttle. Let's do, here's full throttle. Climbs, even at full, full throttle, full down elevator, it still likes to climb. So this is a situation where you got to drop the throttle to make it drop. Here's full throttle and full down, which I can trim. So you got like... And there's high rates. So there you go. High okay. rates, we can fight it a little more. It actually lets me push it down. But that's it. We can't turn, we have a light button. Is there a stunt button? There is not. This is it. $45. And that's full throttle. So you can bail out. Oh, come on, baby. We're trying here, guys. We're trying. It's a windy day. And this is a very fair uh, day to test this on. But beggars can't be choosers. And we just have to face the fact that sometimes we have wind. It looks good. I like the bright yellow. It's very easy to see. And I'm sure on a calm day, this would perform significantly better. Um, you know, we'll, we'll fly something on the next calm day we get. And it might be something small, it might be something really big. I don't know. But today we thought it was going to be calm. Here it is. That wing waggle is just because of the wind. It's doing pretty good though. For a $45 airplane, Abby, we have spent close to that going through the drive through And all that just ends up in and the trash I, or the toilet. And then, so, I, <laughs> then you know, I cry a little bit. This is something you can, you can uh, keep for a long time and enjoy and it can fly in wind. I'm not trying to tell you guys it's something that it's not. It's kind of, in some ways, pathetic. But I can't, I can't, if it was $150, oh my gosh, we would, we would really be sending this back to where it came from, but. I'm gonna try dollars. to get a coupon code too. Okay, so maybe so you we'll can knock see. it down five, six bucks or so. I mean, it's, we're lucky. as I said, you can't see the two props, can you? No. They have disappeared. But the one prop isn't spinning. The one prop isn't spinning. And it is just, it's just uh, rubbing. Uh, do you think any, like, I just don't foresee that ever spinning. It was, well, it's, I'll, let me show you. Hold on. Well, take your knife to it. Make it spin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you missed it. I did. <laughs> Let's make that the new challenge. Shave enough foam away to make it spin. Oh my gosh. He'll never be able to catch this. 
Oh my gosh, and I won't be able to film it. Oh, ah! <laughs> Choke! <laughs> Get it? Hitting the ground might have actually done it. It's spinning pretty freely. What was it running on? The foam. There's just plastic housing and the foam just back take there. Take your knife and just. There's enough. It's spinning. It's spinning freely. It wasn't, it wasn't doing before? that before the flight. So with All the right. wind and the movement, let's see if it'll actually. Here, test, test it. Run. Oh. It's not gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now, that's not going to spin. I'm going to bet. You want to bet? Uh... I got some things on a wish list. Uh, so do I. <laughs> it's, a, it's as loose as it's going to get. I'm going to say you're going to come out ahead on this one. Here we go. <laughs> I think I'm right. <laughs> Oh, it's spinning a little bit. No, it's but, not. Okay. You're just making stuff it up. Did. No, I saw no it one, spin. no one Replay. saw it. Spin. Did you record it right? Probably not. You okay. threw it pretty Replay. fast. Yeah, it's stuck again, but it doesn't count. I'll bet someone out there has one of these with the prop spins. I could WD-40 that and get it. But I'm not doing a follow-up on this, just so you guys know. <laughs> Let's be real. I ain't here. doing it. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, so you can spend 45 bucks and get this. It does fly and it handles wind okay. A person can spend $90 and get an e Sheen Warbird. Probably. Sometimes they're 120, sometimes they're 90. It really depends where you're buying it and stuff. Same size, same kind of foam. They're both ready to fly. This is half the price of one of those. And oh my goodness, that was the win. Ah, but we did it. We did you a half over. roll. <laughs> Redemption? Yes, Redemption, yes. kind of. <laughs> hey, do you remember that drone hoverboard? I do. That was cool. I think I'd rather fly that than this. I wonder if they still sell that. There's nothing wrong with this. That's a great little BF-109 for the price, okay? It just, we picked a slightly windy day, unfortunately. I think it looks pretty good. And it flew okay. We even have trim functionality on here. High and low rates, and we can turn the light on and off. There's just one little red LED indicator on there. And it actually, believe it or not, comes with optional landing gear. So if you wanna practice taking off and landing on a runway like this, you could. It's a good parking lot flyer. And not everybody has hundreds of dollars or even a hundred dollars to spend in the hobby. Plain and simple. Sometimes for the birthday party coming up in your life, you only got 40 bucks for little Jimmy. I mean, that's just how it is. Of course, all of us that are hobby enthusiasts are going to recommend to little Jimmy, don't take the $40 from your uncle and aunt for an airplane. Say, take that and the money from mom and dad and the money from you know, the other family members, put it all together, get 250 bucks and really hit it home and have a really nice airplane in a perfect world. Wouldn't we recommend that to everybody? Yes. But the guys that are flying real turbine jets, they laugh at the fact that I fly $600 foam <laughs> to them. That is this $40 BF 109. So you have to take that with a grain of salt. And remember, and I say this, I've said it for a decade now, price is very relative. Okay. It's a relative term. It's a relative concept price is relative to how much you have and you're willing to spend on the hobby and i'm here to show you a very real world example of this airplane in action i love the hobby i wouldn't recommend this for someone that wants to take the hobby seriously if you're interested in this for any reason yourself or a gift it'll be linked in the description box below know that using that link does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you i want to say massive thanks to god for getting us out here today in front of the camera to share this experience with you guys goofy little airplane but a lot of fun and a lot of times that's just how it goes we love having fun with our budget friendly rcs last but certainly not least i want to say a massive thanks to our patreon supporters for supporting everything we do on our channel Literally because of you guys taking your hard-earned money to support our channel, thousands, tens of thousands, and even hundreds of thousands of people, actually millions, millions of people through the years have been able to enjoy free RC content. We say a massive thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Guys, if you like budget-friendly, easy-to-fly planes, Abby and I will have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!